I'm going to teach you a natural little technique that's going to help you improve your atmospheric perspective. For this painting, I'm using my tubes and I'm preparing here blue brown, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, cerulean blue, and later we're going to add some cobalt green dark for some of the best and foreground and cadmium yellow for um, the sky around the sun with Naples yellow. I'm wetting the paper, masking it at the bottom. That's where our horizon line is going to be. To get a perfect gradient wash, I find the spray very useful. Just a spray of regular water and I'm tilting the paper to get it to go to that area where it's going to be more light. Let it dry completely. By this point, you can mask and go around with circular motions with cadmium yellow and gradually use some yellow ochre and the color that I used here is Naples yellow. This is the end, of, this is how it's supposed to look, and at this stage, in order to prevent the blues, make sure you wipe your brush very well, and drag it to the edge of the sun to blur the effect. A combination of yellow ochre with Naples yellow for the mountains behind. hard edge at the top and the atmospheric pressure will um, and the warmth of the, the sun, sunny night that I'm going to express here it's going to be suggested by the lost edge at the bottom and for that I'm doing the same uh, I'm washing my brush cleaning it in pigment and then dabbing into the rag to absorb the moisture. Once the bottom of your paint is completely dry, use this um, masking fluid and using a liner. Skip this step. of your paper is completely dry you um you want to mix some of the earthy tones I'm, I'm doing here um burnt sepia with venetia red burnt sienna some yellow ochre a little bit of cadmium yellow that i use around the sun 
this is uh, wet on dry. Now how I'm losing the edge of the horizon line, um, very close to the sun, in the sun proximity, and um, I'm doing that through wiping the pigment with my clean brush and very well dried. piece here. Uh, even for the water, even though the water would be blue, I'm using the um, sepia brown in combination with the Naples yellow to suggest the reflection of the sun and um, darker spots on the water. Now in the front, uh, we're going to create a row of dried grass and for that you can either wait for the paper to be completely dry or work, or work wet on wet. I started the wet on wet, now the paper is still a little bit moist. And by adding um, some thin grass lines, I will obtain a blurred effect at the bottom and they will be sharper as I go close to the horizon and above. Note that I'm using the same colors and I am varying the values for the glass, grass layers. That way it looks more dimensional and it creates depth in my painting. As I'm working close to the sun, I'm making um, the grass more yellow and making sure the values are lighter. Well, this is the final piece. Um, now, all that's left is to take the masking fluid off and add the final touches. Here you have free hand to play with the, um, the colors of grass and the dimensions. You can focus on one or multiple focus areas. I 
I like to add little little flowers to give it more texture in the front and also drag and also attract the eye of the viewer to the front layer now for the for the sand in the background I'm adding a little bit more texture with the darker value of the mix that I have left it's a combination of all the colors I've been using for the painting and um, I'm doing very gentle motions on top of the surface to obtain a dry Now taking the masking fluid off, make sure your paper is again completely dry, otherwise you're going to have uh, smudges all over the paper. Here you can use um, either a um, block to scrub it or your hands. I like to use my hands just because it's more convenient and I tend to never have issues if the paper is completely dry. And now the final touch is the signature and we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed making this painting and you learn more about the human atmosphere in the summer day. Please make sure to like and subscribe for new videos and comment below. Thank you.